Hey y'all, <laughs> I got another video here. I happened on this guy's channel. Um, uh, his, he has a video blog called Ask Dead Deadon? Dedon? I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I don't watch his channel. I just happened on his video today. Um, and he has a video entitled The Real Reasons Black Men Cheat. Um, I'm gonna let you listen to him. And, you know, I don't want you to get caught up in this, these, uh, pitfalls. That the, these games that black men play. Because at the, at the, uh, at the end of the day, excuse me, what was this? All right. At the end of the day, you either have integrity or you do not have integrity. If you're in a relationship with someone, you break off that relationship before you move on to somebody else. That's called having integrity. You don't say, well, you didn't, you didn't make my chicken right, you know, or you didn't, uh, uh, stroke my ego right so I'm going to go cheat that is not a man of integrity so do not listen to these excuses making you feel bad because you the, you know you're do you're they're not doing they say you're not doing what it takes to keep them happy so they stay faithful that's a bunch of bullshit Okay, because these type of men, they would cheat whether they were, they had uh, the, the perfect Stepford wives at home or not, or girlfriends, because they ain't marrying you. They had the perfect Stepford girlfriends at home, they still find a reason to cheat because they have no integrity. Okay, so don't fall for the bullshit. Listen to this person right here, and then we'll, you know, I'll get, uh, circle back around. His name is, uh, this is Dedon Talbert. Um, and he made this video in 210, actually. I'm just, in, and it was just popping up in my, in my uh, videos today. So he, he made this video in 210. And I'm looking in there, and a lot of uh, black women are in the comment section agreeing with there's some telling him to, you know where he can go which is good because they ain't falling for that bullshit but there are some in there who are oh you're so right bruh blah 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 and then of course you know the black men are in there bigging him up but anyway here here he go The real reason black men hey, cheat. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Daydon Tolbert, host of the Daydon Tolbert Show, which airs weeknights at 9 o'clock at daydonsplace.net. And one of the most popular topics going on in this country or being asked in this country today is why do men cheat? Specifically, why do black men cheat? And since I'm a black man, I'm going to speak about why black men cheat. And I found that there are some really huge misconceptions about why men do the things they do. If you ask Women, hey, you know, why do why do men cheat? And you ask a woman that, I mean, I think that's ridiculous, as if women know what men, uh, you know, really think. But if you ask a woman, most likely she'll say something like, uh, he's immature, or he's a dog, or he's afraid of commitment. But if you ask a black man, that's one of the reasons why I do Barbershop Talk Tuesdays. So on the Data on Tolbert Show, so you can hear a, a, a variety of black men specifically tell you why they do the things that they do. But if you ask a black man, most likely he'll say, yo, she was always nagging, mm. or she wasn't fulfilling me the way I needed to be fulfilled. Now, ladies, I don't want this blog to turn into a, a blame game or who's right, who's wrong. Cheating is never justified. It's never acceptable. Men should always communicate if they're not being fulfilled. That is my disclaimer. There is no justification or rationalization, but there are, however, reasons. So he just played himself right there. So if there's no justification or rationalization, then this video is irrelevant. Um, so that you do you see the game that he's playing? He's saying, you know, he's trying to stroke your your comfort you by saying, you know, I know it ain't right to be cheating, but you know this is why they do it. And if you don't want them to do it, then you know, come correct in these areas. You know, that's called, you know, what we call deceptive intelligence. That ain't right. 
you know they, they're playing on your uh desire as a woman to fulfill your your man um but no i want you to notice that in this whole video he doesn't say a damn thing about um what it takes to you know fulfill a woman okay so these are the things you need to listen to okay real reasons why people do the things that they do and that's that's what i want to talk about today so the three things that all men need to be sustained in any relationship whether it's a marriage whether it's a boyfriend girlfriend situation or anything they need to be sustained in three areas those three areas are mental stimulation emotional stimulation and physical stimulation now when i say physical stimulation i don't necessarily mean in a sexual way i mean that man must and this is probably one of the least um dominant reasons why a man would cheat but he does need to be fulfilled physically meaning he needs to be able to be sexually stimulated when he looks at you whether he's having sex with you or not what do i mean by that a lot of women you don't stimulate your man you you walk around in these baggy wrinkled t-shirts you walk around in these you know the head wraps and you, you know you wear these baggy clothes that your, your man is not really feeling you in. you know he's asked you to wear certain things you refuse you just never seem to do it or you don't do certain things in a sexual way that or, or uh, any an affectionate type of way that he would like you to do to stimulate him so that is or that lack of, of behavior or stimulation will a lot of times unfortunately sending him into the arms of another woman so listen to that you didn't dress how i wanted you to dress and when you dress skimpy or when you dress sexy they call you a thought so this was part you know uh why are you trying to dress like that you trying to get somebody else you know the games that they play you know so it's a one big old mental mind fuck with these people so don't get caught up in it. Make yourself happy because uh, these people, when you find someone that cares about you and loves you, there'll be open communication. He'll care about what you feel or how he's making you feel, just like he, you, you should care how you make him feel. It'll be uh, uh, an open relationship where the both of you can be happy, not just fulfilling one person's um you know, sense or warped sense of what he feels happiness is. You know, these people are very deceptive. You need to watch it because a lot of black women have gotten caught in this trap and end up being baby mamas without men who are supporting them. And it is, it is just not right. Here's the rest of his bullshit. It's very important to stimulate your man physically. If that man cannot look at you and be like, damn, she's the best looking woman I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe how sexy she is. I want to grab her and take her and kiss her and make love to her. Whether he's doing those things or not, that's a problem. You know, because be clear, your man will be looking at somebody like that. If he's not looking at you like that, if he's not thinking about having sex with you, there is someone else he's at least thinking about having sex with. You need to understand that and accept that, ladies. Be that, and I always like to use this analogy, it often goes over women's heads. I said, when a man is walking down the street with, with Halle Berry and he sees Beyonce walking across the street, his head is only going to turn but so much because he's got Halle Berry right on his left. When he sees Beyonce walking, it's not a big deal. Ladies, be your man's Halle Berry. Stimulate your man. Make sure your man is 100% satisfied with you. <laughs> now, those are two very bad examples. First of all, um, not every woman like look like Harry Barry and Beyonce. And number two, both those sisters got cheated on. And Harry Berry got her ass beat. So what are you saying? You all don't you don't even know what you're saying. And third of all, if you respected your woman, your head or neck wouldn't be turning in the first place. Because you, how would you, you would know how you feel if Denzel Washington was walking by and she had you, you, you were on her arm. How would you feel? She had untwisted and turned to look at Denzel Washington. Please. 
Now, that's the physical aspect of it. And I'm sure a lot of women, that just went totally over a lot of women's head. But don't worry, you listen to the Dayton Tober show. Yeah, because you're a damn fool. So, week nights and nine, you'll get it eventually. Now, the second thing is, mentally, you guys are not stimulating men mentally a lot of times. A lot of times, you guys only know how to talk about one thing. The things that your man is passionate about, you're not passionate about, and vice versa. You guys need to find a way to become on the same page. You need to be able to talk about Barack Obama. You need to be talking about the new health care bill. You need to be able to talk about sports. You need to be, talk, be able to talk about videos. If that's what he likes doing, you need to be able to relate to him. So it, it's not a blame game type of thing. It's not you're right or he's... It's either you're compatible or you're not. Okay, so he doesn't make any sense. If it's not a blame game, why is it on this list? Then make this whole video about compatibility instead of saying, women, you need to do these things for your men or you're going to lose them. Instead of just saying, women, find somebody who you are compatible with. Because if she doesn't want to talk about Obama, if she doesn't want to talk about... the new health care um, bill. Um, if she doesn't want to talk about those things, you, it's not up to you to force her to do so. Okay? She has enough, uh, as much right to believe and, and, and be interested in, in things that she wants to be interested in, just like you do. And that's where we need to, 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 to see that respect has to be a factor. And I didn't hear nothing in here about respect. It's all about what you can do to satisfy me. So I counsel women, and a lot of them are just not compatible with what their man likes to do. And it... They are not compatible with the men. It's not what the men wants to do. They're not compatible with the men. It's sometimes you need to go your separate ways, but be clear if you're not stimulating your man in those ways He will seek interest Elsewhere it doesn't necessarily mean he'll cheat on you But you will not have a hundred percent of his time or the, his interest now the third and in my opinion The most important way that your man needs to be stimulated. It's not physically. It's not uh, mentally. It's emotionally Ladies these men need to know that you have his back we need to know that you love us. We need to know that you think that we are the greatest thing since sliced bread. It doesn't mean that we need our, our ego stroked, although that helps. It doesn't mean that we're inadequate and we need you guys to walk us around like some type, on some type of leash. But it just means we want you to be our biggest supporter. Meaning if we have a career, if we have a hobby, if, if we play sports, we need to know that you're in our corner 100%. We need to know that you're there for us. You know, we deal with so much stuff out here, and we need to know when we come home, our woman is there, and she has our back 100%. A lot of you are not stimulating your men emotionally. You know, on the Dayton Tolbert show, we recently heard a man call in, and he said, you know what, I, I talked to my wife about my goal of starting my own business. And, you know, he said his wife laughed at him. She, she called his dreams stupid. She called his dreams ridiculous. She laughed. He said, as a result of that, and this wasn't right, and I told him he wasn't right, he found comfort in another woman. He found a woman not to have sex with, not to do some freaky stuff with, but he found a woman who believed in his dream, who did everything that she could to make that dream a reality. He even admitted the things that this woman was doing, he wanted, he pleaded, he begged his wife to do, but she refused. So as a result, yes, it ended up being a sexual affair with this other woman, but that was not the intention. The intention was just to find someone who believed in what he wanted to do. We can make this a blog, a blog about, you know, how wrong he was about cheating, but to me... That's what it is. He was wrong. If indeed that was the story and his wife did not support his goal for whatever reason, we don't know what the story is. That's his version of it. Okay? Most women who see their men trying to do something positive for the family, it's going to back them. We don't know if this is his 100th time and they, he's using up the family money, doing all, all kinds of crazy stuff. You, we don't know anything about that. We just hear his story, his side. And But that was an excuse. If he had not cheated already, that was an excuse 
of why he cheated. Okay, there is just none. You have integrity, you tell the person, and you get out of that relationship before you go into another, you find something else. That's just the way people with integrity move. Plain and simple. Me, that's irrelevant. Everybody knows that cheating is wrong. We don't need to talk about how wrong he was. We all know... That's the entire story. We do need to talk about that. We do need to talk about that because you cannot just say it's a one-sided thing, which is what you're trying to do. It's all on the woman. The woman didn't do this, so I'm going to do that. You need to focus on that side and why that person felt that if he felt that he needed to uh, be uh, um, deceitful instead of being honest in the relationship and moving on from the person who wasn't satisfying his needs before he went on to someone else. That's where you need to focus your, your, your stuff on. Oh, he was wrong. My goal for what I uh, do and what I do is to help you women avoid it. And some of you women out here right now listen to this are saying, well, a man's going to do what he's going to do. There's nothing a woman can do to avoid being cheated on. That's 100% incorrect. There is something you can do. I just told you. You can stimulate your man in the three ways that all men need to be stimulated. Mentally, emotionally, and physically. If you're not doing those things, all right, you will, unfortunately, have a high probability of your man cheating on you. Now, be clear. I just did a blog about the three stages men go through, and I have to end on this. I'm not talking about men in the dog stage. I'm not talking about men in the player stage who cheat on their wives. I'm talking about men who cheat, who are in the ready to settle down stage. Those men don't think that just because they're ready to settle down and they think they have a good woman that they won't cheat. Because again, any man who will not, who's not satisfied in those three areas, unfortunately, will cheat. Now that's wrong, we all know, but it's real. So just self-reflect, ladies, and ask yourselves, do I stimulate my man? Is my man stimulated mentally, emotionally, and physically? If the answer is no, and it's not a, de if it's not a definitive, you know, yes, I, I, you know, definitely my man is stimulated, you need to check yourself and ask yourself what you can do, because most likely, unfortunately, your man is cheating on you. Hopefully I've shed light on these subjects for you. <laughs> Listen to me weeknights at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time uh, on the Daydon Tolbert Show at daydonsplace.net. Peace. Don't you all listen to that fool. Okay? Because it all comes down to, it doesn't matter, it, it all comes down to the same thing. If the man has integrity, he will finish one relationship before he goes into another. There is no excuse. Point blank and period. Okay? So don't let, and, and I still haven't heard how the, the, the man is going to stimulate the woman mentally, emotionally, and physically. All I'm hearing is the one side. So if a woman isn't men stimulating the man mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, is she being taken care of the way she's supposed to be taken care of? Hmm? Does she have to come home and work? Does she have to work and then come home and make a dinner? Hmm? Does she have to pay most of the bills? Hmm? And raise the kids at the same time? Hmm, hmm, hmm. There are other factors that you need to uh, assess before you make these stupid comments about uh, men need to be stimulated mentally. Both people in the relationship need to be compatible. And both sides, both needs to be um. All the needs on both sides need to be met. Okay? So black women have been doing a one-sided thing all this time, and it's still not enough. Still not enough. So I, <laughs> I didn't even realize this was back from 210. Um, I was just looking at the date when I was trying to get you all the... Uh, 
the uh, the credits to this. Um, but even back then, they were on some bullshit. And thank God for the internet that we can see the bullshit that they have been on, trying to make you feel bad when it's not your fault. If it's if if they gonna cheat, they're gonna cheat regardless. It's not because you did something. It's because it was in them to cheat. A man of integrity, if something ain't going right, he'll try his best to fix it. But if it ain't working, he will be honest before he moves on to somebody else. These are low lives, and I don't care what race it is. These are low lives, no integrity having, dishonest, deceitful people who cheat and then blame the other person in the relationship for why they cheated. 